Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we are going to be unboxing the RX-77 II Gun Cannon Revive version. Uh, cool fact about Gun Cannon, I believe it's the first ever uh, model in the HGUC line. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I don't know uh, which model this is in. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look around the box. So taking a look at the bottom of the box, we can see it all fully painted and built. And we can see some dynamic poses. We get some cool hands, widespread hands, to do that classic gun cannon pose. Uh, it could kneel down. Uh, there's some cool gimmick sections. It's the beam rifle it has. This side of the box shows just another picture of this right here. Back here is just some tidbits, not in Japanese, so I won't like leave it there for you guys to read. But yeah, here's another cool shot of the gun cannon. Uh, let's just I'll bust this open, take a look at the instructions and the runners. Uh, first off, we got B1, a pretty simple uh, white runner. Uh, it's kind of off-white. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Uh, on the camera, it has like some a little bit of green in it, but it's definitely off-white. It's not pure white. Um, the white reminds me of the high grade double Zeta Gundam. We have D, runner D. So stuff like the hands, the beam rifle I see on the runner, um, backpack pieces, shoulder pieces, these circles. So it's pretty cool. We have our only red runner, yeah, runner A. So this would be all the armor parts, like chest, legs, arm, no, that's also legs, I believe, arms. Uh, skirts, side skirts. Uh, I will be splitting this runner or this skirt section. Another gray runner. We got stuff like frame pieces, feet. Um, oh, that's a pretty cool little piece. Of, it looks like a little poly cap. Poly cap even on the yeah, it looks it looks just exactly like the poly cap. It's pretty weird. But speed of poly caps, yeah, we have a small little poly cap uh, runner got a sheet of decals it's pretty cool I love it when high grades come with decals I love it I love it I love it uh, we have two more small runners we have E which is just the visor clear part nice clear runner B2 has all the yellow so crotch part uh, yellow section for the eyepiece uh, in the beam rifle and that chest vent section and finally, we have runner C, which is the bottom of the feet. Um, did we already get runner C yet? Okay, so yeah, we get two runner Cs. Sorry, my bad. So yeah, this is just duplicated. We got a clone runner. So I uh, there probably won't be any extra parts because of the multi-runners. But if there were, I will mention it in the video. And here we have the instruction manual for the gun cannon. That's... Bust this baby open, look at all these cool pictures. Here's a better shot of that really cool looking gun cannon pose. Here it is doing that crouch. Cool gimmick for the back of the feet. Here's doing that gun cannon pose. Let's see, decals, decals, I love them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here's some of our poses with the gun cannon with and without the beam rifle. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it when uh, mobile suits can kneel. Uh, it's a really good posing option. Not all models can pull it off. But as for the instruction, uh, let me look at the instructions real quick. See if any parts will go unused. So it looks like every single part will be used with the exception of that one poly cap. So that's pretty cool. Um... Just what I expect from a revive. No extra parts, really. Revives are really cool. I love them. Um, I built the Strike Feet from Revive, the RX 78 2 Revive, uh, the GAN Revive, which is my most recent. Um, so, yeah, this, is, this will be my third revive. Um, I really want the Destiny Gundam to be my next, but I'm not sure about that. So, anyways, next video will be the review of this guy tune in next time if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll see you next tuesday